Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to be talking about products that don't work for us and how we can make them work for us. So yeah, that's what this video is going to be about pretty much. And if you're new to my channel, definitely make sure you subscribe before we, like before you continue watching, not we, you, uh, before you continue watching and before we proceed. And also click on the bell which is next to the subscribe button because that way you'll get to know every single time I post a new video. But now let's dive right in and talk about some things that I... I'm personally not a very big fan of and how I make them work for me. Now some just very common simple things that I want to tell you first is if something is not working for you, try to like give it to someone else who has a different skin type who it might probably work for. Like if your moisturizer is too, too thick, um, there's a sunscreen that is again very oily, very greasy. And you know if you have like a skin type for which it is too much, don't force yourself to use things that you're not enjoying to use because it's not just it's not gonna be fun like for example i have a sunscreen right here which i'm gonna talk about in just a bit which i don't enjoy using this and if i force myself to use it i will just stop putting on sunscreen because that's gonna it's not gonna be a fun process and if i don't use sunscreen i'm basically causing damage and aging to my skin which obviously no one wants right so that is the first thing that if you know someone like for example, in my case, this is a product which I actually gave it away to my mom because she has more drier skin and products that are too heavy for me actually end up working really, really well for her. So, um, yeah, if there's something that you don't like, you don't want to use, don't force yourself to use it, give it away to someone else. But obviously, sometimes it's like I've given so many things to my mom now. So, like, her collection is not wasn't really much in the beginning. And now because I've given her so many of my things, her collection is just growing and growing and now she's like enough don't give me any more stuff because you know i'm also not going to be able to use up so many things so that's when we kind of try to make things work for us in some sort of way um so yeah that's that's kind of the first thing that i wanted to mention but uh yeah if you really have to make things work for you you can still make them work in some sort of way so for example if you have a sunscreen that is too heavy or greasy for your skin don't use it on your face use it on your body um and obviously now for example if a tube like this i use it as a body sunscreen all over my body i'm probably not getting the spf protection that is spf 40 because i'll take a tiny little amount and just rub it all over my legs so that way i have a very thin layer of like body lotion or body moisturizer all over my legs and my hands and stuff like that so it might not give me spf 40 protection but i'm still able to use it i'm still able to like you know use up the whole thing uh so yeah that's that's a way in which you can use sunscreens specifically because i get this all the time that oh my god every sunscreen that i buy is like super sticky super oily and i do have uh, face sunscreen recommendations for you guys i recently did um, I mean, I don't know if the video is up by now or not. I'm pretty sure it should be. Uh, since I'm doing a lot of pre-filming, I don't really know which one is going to go out before the other. I don't remember. But yeah, I have a face sunscreen video that you can go and check out. I will leave a link in the description box. Every single sunscreen in that video pretty much is absolutely amazing for the face. And if you have oily skin and you don't like super greasy things, uh, you will find great recommendations in that video. But if you already have a sunscreen that doesn't work for you, just use it on your body. So that was the first one second one is again a very similar kind so face moisturizers which are again too heavy uh, for the daytime can be easily used and the night time so one of them uh, that i personally have is the toli moly the choke choke green tea watery cream now this one even though it's called a watery cream it's actually not bad light of it i mean in the winter i can maybe get away with using this on my face it's super thick I don't want it to like fall but can you see how thick it is like it's not even it's not gonna move it's it's super thick in there so yeah in the winter i can maybe get away with using it in the morning but otherwise i would use something like this at night because it's really thick and really heavy and um, i told you guys about my garnier moisturizer also which has like an spf like the typical garnier that fairness cream whatever it is with spf 19 or 15 something like that i know it has spf food but i just use it at night because it's like very creamy for the daytime so yeah if you have a moisturizer that you don't want to use in the daytime use it at night 
that was that moving on next to i actually have some lipsticks so a if you have a lipstick that washes you white or uh, washes you white no washes you out uh, for example this one right here which is the a1 um mark uh, liquid the lip lacquer matte in the shade dare to be bear it's a very nude very light lipstick like if i applied all over my lips on its own it's definitely going to wash me out so this one i actually mix with other lipsticks for example i actually mix it with this one right here this is the sugar sparkling not liquid lipstick in the shade bare flare when i mix these two uh, they are actually a great combination so that's how i end up using my lipsticks which are too light sometimes i give it to my friends who have a lighter complexion than i do because it probably would end up working for them but most of my friends are either like my skin tone or darker uh, there is one who is actually lighter uh, my best friend but she doesn't like nude lipsticks so again you're not always going to be able to always find someone who you can give it to if you have someone great if not then you have to just end up throwing them which is a little hard breaking because you're wasting money or you can just mix your lipsticks and use it that way another tip which i also wanted to share with this particular combination is that if you have a lipstick which is too dry try to not apply it directly on the lips try like taking it on your hand or on your palm something like that Okay, palm is here, not here. Uh, take it like somewhere on your hand and apply it as a lip tint. So with these two, what I do is I actually, even though I do mix them, but they can be too drying. Especially this one can be really drying when I use it like on its own. So what I do is I take like half and half of both of these, mix it right here on my hand, uh, and then apply it on my lips as a lip tint, and it works really, really, really well. It doesn't feel drying at all, which is something I would not expect. I would ever say. especially about this one so yeah it's not necessary you have to mix like even if i didn't have this lipstick and i only had this one so like a lipstick that is super drying i would take it in my hand and then apply it as a lip tint on my lips and that way it's it doesn't feel as drying so um yeah that was another quick tip moving on next again this is a similar situation where if you don't like a particular product on your face to use it on your body i spoke about the face shop smart peeling honey black sugar scrub uh, and i mentioned how i don't like to use this on my face because it's too heavy ish or like it leaves a weird film on my face someone who has dry skin might actually like this as a scrub i have oily or skin so i don't like this one but i actually ended up using this as a body scrub and I guess it did the job. I mean, but yeah, anything that you don't like for your face, just use it on your body and use it up. So yeah, that was that. And moving on to the last product, which again you can do something similar with. No, not similar actually. This this is a different one. I don't know why I said that. Uh, this is the Vow um, um hair mask. It's the it's the one for normal hair. It says wheat and. soy amino acids moroccan argan oil for normal hair i don't know why i bought this i think there was something about the claims uh, yeah it says uh, it helps to tame frizz adds gloss and bounce and it also says replenish moisture and deep condition hair etc etc which is why i ended up buying this but it's actually for normal hair and my ends where i mainly use my hair mask is more dry so this one actually did not do a very good job at like nourishing my ends and stuff especially when i have it if for just for like 20 30 minutes it was something like that it did not do a very good job so i was like i don't really enjoy using it and then i saw a couple of hair care routine videos of other people where they are using hair masks as pre uh like a pre shower mask rather than a post shower earlier what i used to do is i used to wash my hair first then i used to put the hair mask in wait in the shower for like 20 30 minutes now i have actually changed um my hair care routine just a little bit i do hair mask before i shampoo so uh, if i plan on like washing my hair what i will do is i'll go to the shower i will wet the lengths of my hair i'll put the hair mask in and then just tie it up in a bun on top of my hair and uh, on top of my head and then just wait for like maybe an hour maybe two hours depending on how much time i have if i'm doing it in the morning like i know a lot of people wash their hair in the evenings i end up catching a cold when i do that so i do it in the morning So like if I'm waking up at nine in the morning, I will let the hair mask be in my hair for maybe like an hour or two, and then wash my hair before lunch. So like say at twelve, twelve thirty. So when it stays in my hair for like two to three hours, I feel like it's more nourishing. And even my hair masks, which are nourishing any which ways, even when I keep them for like twenty, thirty minutes, 
they end up being even more nourishing when I keep them for a longer amount of time. So this tip has basically helped me make like a hair care routine change just in general. So I wanted to mention that as well in this video. So yeah, if you end up finding a hair mask that in a short amount of time, like a short span, is not able to condition your hair well enough, keep it for a little longer, maybe keep it overnight if you want to. I just don't like doing that. I think it's too messy. But if you can, go ahead and definitely do so. So yeah, those were all the uh, kind of like hacks that I could give you, things that I do to make products work for me and I thought it would be helpful for you as well. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. Let me know if you have any um, ways to work, ways to make products work for you, any kind of hacks or tips that you tend to do, leave them in the comment section down below so that I can learn from them. Other people who are reading the comments can also learn from them. So yeah, please leave it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Thank you so, so, so much for watching this video, you guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye-bye.